My name is Dr. Lauren Edgar, and I'm a planetary geologist here at the U.S. Geological Survey in Flagstaff, Arizona. One of the key questions driving planetary exploration is, are we alone in the universe? To help answer that question, I'm looking for habitable worlds in our solar system, meaning environments that may once have had the conditions necessary to support life. Two of the main conditions needed for life are a source of energy and liquid water. Liquid water is really important because all life as we know it requires it. So it's the first thing to look for in the search for life beyond Earth. For over 100 years, scientists have been wondering whether Mars ever could have had liquid water. And as we've collected more and more data from Mars, we've realized that Mars is actually one of the most Earth-like planets. Oh, but it looks like there are some nice flat blocks in a few places here, here. As a planetary geologist, I study rocks on Earth to understand the geology of other planets like Mars. My specialty is actually to look at rocks on Earth that have interacted with water, and then I use that knowledge from Earth to look for similar environments on Mars to figure out whether Mars may have once had flowing water. I'm here in Sedona, Arizona, about 30 miles south of Flagstaff. This area actually looks a lot like Mars and has some similar types of rocks and landforms. So because of this, it's a great place for me to collect samples and make observations that I can then compare to the geology of Mars. Down below me is a river, and it's a great example of water interacting with rock. As the water rushes over the rock, it picks up little individual sand grains and pieces of the rock that get transported downstream and eventually deposited elsewhere. Over time, these water-rock interactions will carve out a landform that I can observe, and it will tell me what to look for on Mars. If water has been carving rock for a very long time, it's possible to make a landform called a canyon. Canyons are deep and narrow landforms with steep walls that often have a river at the bottom. This is a great example of a canyon that's been carved by this river. As a planetary geologist, my job is to gather evidence at canyons like this and compare that to what I can observe on Mars. If I can find similar textures or patterns in the canyons on Mars, then that becomes strong evidence that water once flowed on Mars. 